And what an awful finish at Ohio State. Uh, the, the, we knew this would be a tough matchup. Uh, C.J. Stroud uh, put a lot of numbers on the board, threw for 348 uh, and four touchdowns, and they lost the game. But at the end of the day, the Buckeyes defensively were poor again, just like they were the final Saturday in November when they were poor and they got smoked by Michigan. Uh, in, in defense of C.J. Stroud, he lost his top wide receiver, Marvin Harrison, second quarter with a concussion. Now, Harrison had three big catches right at the start of the game. Running game, two of the three backs had surgeries. It just wasn't the same ground game anymore. But the defense never got better, not not from the, the game against Michigan and obviously not in this game. And like I said, there were 1,000 yards total offense uh, between these two teams. And, boy, you look at Ryan Day, and he just looked like a lost soul on the sideline. He could not believe it was happening uh, to his team again. And you know, the Buckeyes the Buckeyes collapsed just, just like they collapsed like a cheap beach chair in the game <laughs> against the University of Michigan. So they got a long offseason ahead. They're going to have to re reevaluate coaches on the defensive staff. They're going to have to reevaluate their system uh, because, it, to me, shocking. Now, I got friends in Columbus and – Cleveland and Akron that I've emailed and texted back and forth with, and they're just, they're stunned. Two losses in a row at the end of the season. This is Ohio State. Two losses in a row at the end of the mm -hmm. season. Bad losses, losses in which you had the lead, you let it get away. Yeah, I mean, I think Ohio State football is the number one sports program in the entire state of Ohio, isn't it? Yes. Um, so, yeah, for this has got to be a crushing defeat for all the fans. But it is interesting to me that he's given up the offensive play calling duties for next season. I mean, that is a lot to you know manage during the game when you're trying to be the overall leader and kind of get into the X and O's of the offense in the moment. Um, you, maybe you need to delegate and maybe be able to perform better as a head coach. Okay, I'm not going to put you on the spot, but who do you think is going to win a week from Monday when Georgia <laughs> plays Texas Christian? Are you wearing purple or are you wearing bulldog red? I'm wearing purple. I'm going all TCU, baby. This is going to be good. I'll vote for the dog, too. That, that'd be kind of cool. What a way mm -hmm. to finish up. Okay, before we go 